Welcome back to the channel and today I want to try to create a bipedal water runner or walker inspired by uh actually someone in my discord suggested this that one guy you know uh suggested lizard walker there's a lizard that runs on water and was wondering if you can make it in trail makers uh now they said to use hover pads I don't really think hover pads are going to be necessary I kind of have them uh what might be a more fun idea but uh i want to use paddles as the feet basically and just have them spin around and try to walk and we can use the is the assistance of gyro stabilizers to keep it upright and hopefully it'll just kind of like hydroplane across the top of the water and then the fun thing about it being a lizard is the tail can be used for not only some stabilization but also potentially steering so i'm hoping this is going to work uh, like it does in my head, it seems like it has potential to be way harder than I'm, I'm anticipating, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, it's not really going to be like a lizard lizard. It's just gonna, I just want to, I'm focusing on function first before form. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the form look too much like a lizard, but the main, or let's see, the main aspect of this is going to be the running slash walking system. So we're going to have these rotating servos rotate infinity degrees. Um, w to go forward. Yes, we need to rotate in that direction. S to go backwards. And then at maximum speed. Now, uh, the we also need the feet. And how long we make the leg is going to determine how big of a circle the feet are going to do. So let's start with small at first. So now, as I press W on this, it rotates that way, which means I want this one to rotate the opposite direction. So that way the foot stays level. All right, and then on the end of this is going to be our water paddle thing, large paddle like that. And then copy and paste this to the other side. And this should be the walking mechanism. I might, I'm probably gonna have to reverse these though. All right, let's just see if these legs work as intended. Okay, yes, I forgot I need to have them opposed. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, hold on a second. I need to go on to land here to test this thing out. Okay, that is the walking mechanism I was tr going for, but like the lizard thing, it's actually more of a cartoon style where the leg goes all the way around. <laughs> it does not look right. Hold on, let me go spawn in the water real quick. All right, this is uh, not quite looking like it's supposed to, just because of the forces going on. All right, but we need a, we need we need to stabilize this part, so then that'll make sense. Let's just put these on high strength. There we go. So that's how it's gonna run. And in water, that's weird. All right, there we go. There we go. Look at that. All right, now let's try that in water. All right, now we, oh, look at the turning. All right, getting this thing up onto the surface is gonna be interesting. We can probably have some basic floating devices to keep it at like waist level. And then when you run, it'll hopefully lift out of the water. But let's build a tail. I know this is all looking absolutely terrible right now, but I'm hoping in time, things are gonna start making more sense. All right, now we got a tail. So this is the walking motion, and then the tail could potentially turn us. Wow, look at the balance of this. This is actually kind of crazy. All right, uh, does this help us in the water at all? All right, so the problem is we don't, we don't, we just sink. I was hoping that the paddles would catch the surface and like push us despite like wanting to sink. It doesn't seem to push us as much as I was hoping. I thought they were going to have a lot more water resistance than they do have, so that's a little concerning. All right, what if I change them to face horizontal? Does this mean anything? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? <laughs> how did that How did that make all the difference I needed? And right, then turn left. Oh, we're hitting the tail. I need to adjust that angle. That's fine. What I can, I, I genuinely am so just that I, I, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I just changed the angle of the foot and it essentially works like I wanted it to work. I thought I was so much farther away from anything close to what we just accomplished. It kind of does make sense. The tail is a little bit too long now I'm seeing. Put the tail like that. 
All right, go, 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 go. Yes, get up on the water. Wow, I mean, it looks more realistic too. Oh, I forgot to change the, um, I need to change the angle of this. Let's go like 30 degrees should be good. Oh, whoops, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Look at that, look at that. I guess it is pushing the water more down, which makes you go on the surface more. All right, turn left. Okay. It is slightly working. It's not great. It kind of like, it's working like yaw on a plane does when you're trying to turn uh, using just yaw. This is so crazy that this is doing the thing. I wonder if there's a way to make it go faster. The problem is the legs, like the this rotating servos that I'm using, they're at their max speed. There are things that spin faster, but these stay locked in a fixed speed position, which allows both legs to stay at the same, uh, the same relative orientation. The other ones, they won't stay locked in that uh, speed with each other, so they could get off, uh, off alignment from each other, and then that would be not great. What do we do with this information? I wonder if the large, pa these large paddles are probably the best thing for with the water used to move a lot of water. Like that's exactly what I'm using them for. So there's probably not much better than that. Uh, let's see what happens if we extend the length of the legs. I can see this going either way. It could either be faster or slower. Let's find out. I didn't look at my speed before. My speed right now is about 11 miles per hour. This is so cool. Oh, there goes my foot. All right, so 11 miles per hour with that. Let's go back to the old design. It looks like it's slightly slower by like 0.02 miles per hour because it's still hitting 11, but it's it's hovering more on 10. And honestly, I think the longer leg version is a little bit more, it, it, it's a little bit more like the, the feel and look I'm going for. All right, the only problem with this now Oh wait, the tail is still not quite long enough. But now that my legs are longer, it interferes with the tail again. But whoa, did you see that steering? Okay, and then I got an idea. I'm gonna add, the, oh, this could be bad. So I wanna try to incorporate steering into the legs as well by adding like another joint, but I'm afraid it's going to destabilize the legs because these legs need to be pretty stable. So here's my thought. If I want to turn to the right, my left leg has to angle out towards the left more. So I would angle in the green, I would bend it in the green direction slightly. So I don't want anything in the red direction. And when I turn right, green direction by like 10 degrees. So then this one, I want it to go green direction as A when I turn. All right, so we're going. And then I turn left. You can see the slight, oh, whoa, look at that difference. That actually works really, really well. That's great. The tail isn't in the water still. I need a longer tail again. So just by angling, you can see the angle on the hip joints there. That totally helps me turn. This is going way crazier than I was expecting. Like way, way gooder. Way gooder than I was ever expecting. All right, now the tail is hovering in the water. So that should give a little bit of extra assistance. And you know what I want to do? I eventually, I want to make it so that this tail ends up actually bending instead of just being this rigid stick that hinges. I don't know if I, how much I want to build into the aesthetic of a lizard with the rest of its body. If I add too much to its upper torso, it might weigh it down to the point where it stops working. All right, but I'm going to work on the tail and stuff first. And then maybe we can add some like booster assistance to just make it go a little bit faster. That actually might be bad. If we go faster than what the paddles are contacting the water, like that speed that they're actually allowing us to go, it might actually have an unintended consequence where it slows us like they're fighting against each other. But with our gyro stabilizers, the only really concern with that would be face planting, but our gyro stabilizers will prevent that. So maybe it's not going to matter. All right, check it out. I now got a tail that does this. Looks much more realistic a lot more tail like and that's pretty cool all right i've made quite a few adjustments um one adjustment is i've added a knee it doesn't actually do anything other than create that aesthetic i thought it was really weird having super stick straight legs so i think just having that little hinge there adds just a little bit more uh just realism to it even though it's not realistic at all um but it could have the effect of making us a little bit faster because it's angling the foot just a little bit more towards the water to catch maybe 
The other thing I've done, obviously I've restructured the legs to more look to look more like legs. I've added little arms. I think I added them a little bit too high, but I needed them to be out of the way of the feet. Um, and then I've added the face, and it's even got when I go forward, the mouth uh, opens, which I can't show you because that happens. The mouth opens just a little bit. There we go. Uh, so now I'm gonna paint it up, guys. We have the scale effect. Oh yeah, look at this. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Let's give it some like actual eye colors. I kind of think that looks better than like your typical eye where the pupil is black because it almost looks like it has a black eye, but then like this is like the iris and then like the pupil is there instead. And then the other thing I forgot that I wanted to do was add a fin to like a tail fin to the feet like this. I don't know. It, it's an outdated thing. I think I, I, I thought of that a long time ago to solve one issue that is no longer an issue. But now it's just like in my mental log of to do and I want to check it off. Okay, there we go. I think it kind of adds a little bit to the aesthetic. All right. Now the question is, can we still run on water with all this extra weight that I've added? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, uh, come on. Get up. Yeah. Oh my. Look at our speed. We went from 11 miles per hour. We are now going 18 to 19 miles per hour. That is a huge difference. All right. Let's test out the turning now. Oh, we can turn like really easy. This is great. The turning actually looks pretty good too. Okay, the only down, the only thing I don't, uh, I the only like the only thing I would change is I would want it to be kind of leaning forward a little bit when it runs, and then like when it like see we sink completely. There is nothing keeping us buoyant other than running across the water. We are literally just hydrofoiling, or like. I don't even know if that's technically what we're doing. Kind of. That's kind of what we're doing, isn't it? Hydroplaning, maybe, across the water. This is awesome. This is actually awesome. All right, I have an idea that I think is going to help me go maybe faster and also contribute to steering. Uh, I'm taking that off, and I'm going to replace the tail with underwater propeller. There we go. So when I press space, it should act as a boost, I'm hoping. So here is normal. I was steering... Okay, steering still works. The tail is not active right now. So th this steering is pretty much almost exclusively the legs doing that thing. All right, so we get that. All right, now our speed is around 18 miles per hour. Now I'm going to press space for boost. Ready, boost. Oh, yeah, that actually does work. The tail, like, we, I wish we float a little bit more because now our legs go super far into the water and our tail is also kind of super far down. But I don't want to add, like, gimbals and stuff to, like, you know, they kind of like cheat to make you lighter, but then you're essentially adding a flying capability into something that is supposed to not be flying at all. So I think I'm kind of happy with what I've managed to accomplish here. I don't know if this was the type of uh, lizard. Oh, I'm realizing there's a there's a little thing that is misaligned on next to the head up there. But I don't know uh, that one guy, you know, I don't know if this is the type of lizard you were talking about. Like when you said lizard that r runs on water, I imagine that bipedal one with the uh, the things that the flaps next to its head. Here, let me fix that real quick. You know, I might be able to add a pretty cool decal to these, actually. All right, it's really subtle, but it just adds like this nice yellow gradient right here. Maybe I should have done it to the whole head. There we go. And actually, that kind of... Oh, no, it makes the eyes look terrible. Let's not do it on the eyes. Oh, look at I stay on top of the water now. If I don't let myself sink in... Oh, and then look at the speed. Look at the speed. This is great. <laughs> I can't believe this actually worked. I, I really didn't think this was going to work exactly as I envisioned it. And steer left. Oh, man. the uh, When you're boosting, the steering is, like, excessive. It's actually really good when you're boosting. This is so good. I'm a big fan of this. Wait, wait. I know how to do the body thing. Hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I can lean the body forward. All right. Now I add steering hinges right here. All right. Let's see how that feels. All right, yeah. We don't go as fast, surprisingly. I mean, okay. It's actually, yeah, it's weird. Leaning forward makes us not go as fast. Oh boy. I mean, it looks better in my opinion, but it just feels worse. I don't know, what do you guys like better? Do you like it looking better, but going slower? I mean, the boost speed still seems about the same. But just the regular, the regular speed is slower. So do you like going faster, but looking not as interesting? Or going slower, but looking slightly more 
interesting because of the body leans. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know what I like better, but they're both kind of cool. I'm a fan. Oh, what happened to my eyes? <laughs> How does this stuff keep happening? <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We found a bipedal lizard walker. Uh, water walker, for that matter. I, I, this thing, actually, I don't think it'll function on land. Let's do a quick test. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I know the feet are just going to fall apart, but I just want to see it happen. Yep, there we go. Okay. It really can't do anything on land. It's that bad. All right, and then without the paddle feet, we can't be on water anymore. So, yeah, it just kind of shows how crucial every, like, little part of that process was. Oh, what's happening? This isn't normal. There we go. Stabilize out. All right, we're good. All right, I'm going to call this a mission success. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.